Hello and welcome to the round one coverage of the Kentwood Classic here 2021 brought to you by Discraft and all these wonderful sponsors. My name is Zach O'Hare and I'll be on the commentator's mic here with Cody. How you doing Cody? I'm doing well. Well, thank you for having me today. Yeah, super excited to have you on the mic with me today. Super excited as well. We are back at JC. We did a casual round there a couple years ago. It's good to see now some pros attack it starting here with Zach Sherman, hometown Rockford, rated 975. Bulldog, I believe. We got Carl Bowman up next, uh, coming from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I believe, you know, he's uh, a little bit of a local this course. Excited to see it. Yeah, we got Sam Smeagle as well coming here with that big old grin of his. Good uh, righty and lefty players. Gonna be excited to watch him play it. And then last but not least, we got Willie Prince. Um, rated 990, one of the top in the field, and he's from Wyoming, Michigan. Yeah, great. We've seen him on the channel quite a bit as we head into hole one. We've got a Mando here to the right of this tree where the drone is going. Uh, really, you just want to get it to the right of that tree, let it hyzer for a righty backhand player. Uh, thankfully, we got a lefty here today, so we get the lefty plays as well. What are you doing here? Uh, so I, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Um, I like the forehand pig option, but you know, if the wind's right, maybe a backhand with the butter. I like this play as well. You kind of put it on Big Annie and let it kind of glide there with a stable disc here as Zach's showing us. And that seems like to be a pretty good play. Yeah, well done. I'd say it's a bullseye mark for sure. Yeah, if you miss the Mando somehow, which does happen on a rare occasion, you would go directly next to that drop zone for your next shot. And uh, of course there is OB in those sidewalks on or over all the way around it. So a bad tree kick would definitely leave you in a bad spot. But Carl and Zach showing us exactly putting us some, you know, 20 feet there. Pretty sure this is a zone coming from Sam. Oh, that's a that's a smooth looking shot. He's got so much power. He's he's a really big thrower, 500 plus kind of guy. So definitely an interesting course to see him play as well. Uh, I think we're gonna see a lot of standstill from him and Willie going real wide, wide and high, and uh, that's gonna be a nice result for him. Should be uh, closest to the group. Maybe fighting with Zach for that uh, CTP. Lots yeah. of CTPs to get today. Oh, great start for Carl. Uh, farthest out in the group, and he gets the bird train started there. First time he's on the channel with us, as well as Sam and Zach. Willie is the uh, longtime Crew 42 veteran now. Yeah. There we go. Sam getting it started. Sam's got quite the firm putt here. He's uh, You'll see him power his putts pretty much from any distance here. So, Hey, if you have the confidence, then you have more power to you. Right. Zach here just having to clean up here for our first and star frame and hopefully we get lots of those today definitely JC Park here is a deuce or die kind of course yeah got a lot of opportunities and you know just gotta make sure you convert when you actually get the chance and then we'll hold two uh, we're looking at 310 feet um, as a lefty I like to throw fairway driver you know have it stand up and just hyzer out at the end um, but for most right-handed players I've been seeing a lot of forehands um, and you know, just uh, you have something to stall out with the hyzer at the end, and you're gonna be looking at a circle putt. I saw Jeff Bennett playing this before the round. He was throwing a couple Firebirds at it. I feel like that's common. And both Zach and Carl are both capable forehand players. As we see, Zach, this is looking really good. Oh wow! Almost had a little magic on the channel. Hey man, I will I will take it. We still need our first ace on the channel. And next up, we got Carl lining up another forehand. I think that's a Halo Destroyer, it looked like, just for a brief moment. And, wow. Just right underneath. Yeah, let's say he's uh, still in circle there, so yeah, that was a great looking shot. Sam here, not opting to go lefty back in here, but going to go with the forehand instead. This is really low, but it looks like he's got enough power. All right, just, uh, just a little bit outside the circle, it looks like. Uh, but, you know, he has no obstructions, and uh, I know he's a confident putter. So. Oh, here comes Willie's Challenger OS here. We've seen this at Garfield earlier this year. That thing is quite flipping his hand, and he just kind of misses his line there a little bit. And he's going to have quite the distance here to try to maybe make a magical two. Well, well let's hope. Try to keep that birdie train running. And wow, I would say can't get much closer than that. Yeah. Um, you know, leaves himself uh, to be able to tap in the par there. Sam here, like you said, just outside circle. He's got lots of power. He's one of the fastest putters I've ever seen. Just, just a tad low. Um, you know, it's still dialing in. He was, he was really close for his first putt. So, 
sure those jitters will go. Got L Willie lining up right now to save his three. Ooh. That was yeah, close. That, that was, uh, you know, <laughs> makes you question, but they, uh, they ask how many, not how. You know, uh, Donut talked to Jeff at States last year, asked him what his putting practice was, and he talked about how he takes the chains off and puts it into the basket rather than using the chains. And uh, when Willie did that, the first thing he said is, where's Jeff? Because I got to you know, give him credit. That's a, Jeff taught, you know, showed him how to make it. So Yeah, I was fortunate enough to play with uh, Jeff that first round and um, you know, learned a lot from a veteran. I would say it was definitely a nice, uh, nice experience. For sure. All right, Zach and Carl keeping the pace going. That perfect round still there as they head into hole three, 217 feet. There's actually multiple routes for this hole. We're looking at the backhand righty gap here. There is a lefty gap or forehand gap you can take as well, depending on how you're comfortable. Really the only danger here is the an early tree or maybe too much power in getting into that OB deep. Um, but even if you do go deep, it's a pretty short putt to try to save your three. Absolutely. Um, me, I preferred that uh, righty backhand, you know, lefty forehand gap. And I felt like it was a little bit wider. Um, a little more margin of error, or yeah. room for error. Oh, that's a solid looking forehand, probably a slow putter approach. Oh no, wow. sit down. Hit the last tree there, gets a roll away, but uh, still within range. Next up, we got Carl, opting for that backhand. It's a challenger, I believe. Purple challenger, this is looking really smooth. Yeah, and that's textbook. Ooh, maybe stole that CTP. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's, uh, that's going to be a nice little start there for Carl. Definitely a course that 18 down is not impossible. There's two holes specifically that will really challenge that. But lots of birdie hole opportunities here. And I will not be surprised if we see Sam do this, where it's just stand still off the tee on most holes. Yeah, it does have uh, quite the power, and uh, it's got to be nice. You know, I feel comfortable with the standstill. Mm -hmm. You know, builds a lot of confidence with it. I mean, he's working for him. He's in the circle again, so... See if what Willie does with that same buzz or uh, Challenger OS, excuse me, put it on Heiser and looks like he's following Carl right up to the circle. I believe uh, first up, yep, we got Zach. You know, we got a we got a tricky putt here, but um, I believe that he's very capable. A little uphill and yeah, oh. that, just a hair. I mean, inches short there. He's gonna miss his first birdie. And there's another yeah, sneaky like, one. Like you can see Hobie's face in the background going, Ooh, oh, yeah. Still winning, though. Quite the character. Good recovery for Willie after missing hole two. This particular hole, uh, hole three, actually played as the fifth easiest hole in the day, averaging neg negative 0 0.63, so about a little over half the field, about 60% of the field. Got a birdie on the hole for our first round here, so definitely looking to convert. All right, there's Zach tapping it in. Um, on to hole four, we are looking at 244 feet. Uh, it bends a little bit to the left here. Um, the play is, you know, just hit the initial gap with either a righty backhand, lefty forehand, and uh, just let it slide in. I would have seen people try to go onto the left side around the baseball fence. Uh, it's, it's definitely an option, but, you know, you'd bring OB into play a little bit more. Little, like a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and also a little bit of OB deep uh, with the sidewalk, probably about 40 feet. Yeah, harder to get to that one because you kind of get a roll to get that or you really got to thump something straight. A lot of these guys are going to be throwing zones or things that have so much stability to them that they just won't have that option. Yeah, take it out of the play. Or out. And it's pretty cold too, so everyone's kind of going to be shortening up here. And So far we've got two drives here that are both within circle. We've got a couple good birdie looks. Willie, as you can tell, this morning is a little chilly. Yeah, just just a little bit. I'm um, surprised he doesn't have that Challenger OS in his hand again. Oh, this is a Raptor, and if you watched our uh, coverage for the um, well, March Mayhem, he threw that thing all the time, and it, was, it did very well for him, but he threw it forehand mostly. That one ended up a little short on him. And another stable backhand. This looks Man. so good, yeah. There is just that soft sand right there, that light patch of dirt. If you land in there, it's not going anywhere. Oh, that's got to stop. 
Yeah, sure does. Yeah, just a little high out at Willie's hand. Um, luckily, you know, that band uh, slowed down a lot of the speed. These baskets definitely do that because the top of the baskets, unlike most, right, where they're flat across the top, these ones actually come in a little, quite a bit. And there's only the knob that's in the center and then everything else is indented inside of it. So if you do land on top of the basket, you're more likely going to get a, a hit and it'll slow down a lot rather than skip and keep sailing. Wow, yeah, you were right uh, about the power. <laughs> yeah, no, that... it. <laughs> I think he could actually get his putt to register on a radar gun. I think he did last year. So I forget what his number is, so I'm not going to make a prediction there what Sam's uh, putting power is, but it's fast. It's faster than us. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, faster than me. And uh, I, Lord knows if I try to throw it that fast, my accuracy is out the window. For sure. Me as well. Heading to hole five here, and there's a quick image of you there on the practice round with oh, Team Evo. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. I hit my hand on that shot, actually, oh, on the no. tree. <laughs> oh, no. I hope it was worth it. Oh, absolutely. It looked like a good shot. 353 feet. Uh, you, for you, you're probably taking that left gap for a lefty backhand or maybe a forward, uh, forehand righty. Uh, the other play here is to turn a more stable disc over on Anheuser, take the right gap where the drone went. Uh, but with probably Carl, Zach, and most of this card, we're going to see a lot of forehands. I would predict Willie's probably going to be the one that doesn't throw the forehand. Sounds about right. Yeah, their forehands have been smooth so far. Why not just repeat another Ooh. one? Ooh, a little low. That uh, that touch? That was a little touch. Of, yeah, it worked out, though. Big skip there. I think it's a force. I Don't quote me. I don't know Carl's and Zach's bag very well. This is one of those two holes that definitely can get a little tricky. Here's a lefty. Well, need lefty, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's taking the inside lefty gap, trying to sneak it in there and turn it over a little bit more, I think. Hole five here played as the third hardest hole in the day, averaging par. And here we are with Zach's forehand. Oh, he turned this one over. And the baseball diamonds here, ROB, a bad kick can get you into that OB territory. There's a painted line there. But that position's okay because you can still see the basket and hopefully you can go up and down. And as you predicted, we got a turnover out of Willie, and uh, he's going to like that. Yeah, that'll work. Always feels good to get five. Uh, it feels more like a bonus birdie. That next 16 really feels like the perfect round. Five is definitely a extra one. And he's catching up from hole two, so. Great touch. Yeah. That's about as best, you know, best you can ask for in that situation. And like you said, you know, one of the harder holes on the course, uh, average into three. You know, you're not losing to losing strokes to too many guys on this. Yeah, in fact, there were a total of four birdies in the first round here. Carl lining up. Uh, C two. Can he be one of them? Woo! Sure can. Had a boy. Nice little high putt. Just let it fall in there. Carl starting off with a perfect five for five. That yeah. is, that's got to be a confidence booster. Yeah. Feel really good. First time being on, you know, on coverage and just shredding the first five on a course that you should shred. And good for Willie too. This is a fantastic drive. Nothing to take away from Willie here. He's also starting pretty good. I would imagine most players are sh trying to shoot that neg four through the first five. If you happen to miss one, you're in that neg three range. You're still in that pace that you're trying to set so all these guys are really just uh shredding right now and keeping a good pace to try to keep that lead all right uh going into hole six we got 356 feet uh we are looking to the basket here on the left um me as lefty i'm throwing a forehand trying to have something you know hyzer flip up and then just get stable at the end uh seen a lot of uh righty backhands you know just with a fairly stable driver you know pump it out straight and let it finish Fairway driver, mid ranges are the most common play. It is a little lower than where the T pad is at, so it does play a little less than 350. So sometimes you'll get a guy who has good power throw a fairway driver and he'll end up going deep. And I uh, forgot to mention there is a little OB deep um, where that sidewalk is. Uh, pretty close to the basket. I feel like um, you know roughly around circle one edge. Yep. Definitely still in circle one if you go OB, but Carl there unluckily hitting an early tree, kind of shanked it right. Willie trying to make the correction. This is looking really good. That's the exact gap you want to hit. Wow. Hope he's got to do a quick turnaround there to catch that. 
you know, pretty much sitting in the perfect spot. Not a CTP, but I'd take that 10 out of 10 times. For sure. I can, I can only imagine this is a mid-range from Sam here. This is also looking really good. Maybe a touch on the left side here, but... Oh, yes. Perfect left is, you know, still perfect, right? Zach Sam, he's, he's, he's definitely got to be one that's got to keep up with these two. He's got to miss that post. It does it's a little low he's got a tree right in front of him it looks like but c2 putt nonetheless we'll see what he can do with that carl with a big old anheuser putt no left it a little shorter than he probably would like but yeah you know, i'd say uh still an opportunity to get up and down and get on to the next one zach also leaving it high just touch too much the worst noise in disc golf right there yeah that band Oh, just a touch wide. He's going to take a step backwards here. Definitely a course we're taking a four. Definitely feels rough. And, wow. Oh, no. Just right side there. I saw he took a higher score on this hole, but uh, didn't realize the misfortune that went along with it. Yeah, this is unfortunate for him as hole six is. Uh, plays on the lower end. Uh, it's the 13th hardest hole, net averaged negative 0.13. He is the only person, Carl's the only person to shoot over par on this hole. Just very unfortunate, but um, sometimes that happens. Sometimes there's that putt that just doesn't quite stick, even though it catches a lot of chains. And uh, I feel like he did the right thing. He smiled it off. You know, he's he's focused on to the next hole. Yep. And then Willie, great deuce. Because the important thing to remember for Carl, too, is that his incredibly good start still leaves him within a stroke of these fellas. So he's definitely not out of it. It's, he's just got to put it behind him here at hole 7, 246 feet. Back to a forehand kind of favored hole. It's a mixture between the two. I see right backhand players as well with putter putting it into this gap and kind of letting it stable out at the very end, landing in this kind of canopy here. Or I'll see forehand, uh, ready forehand, stable putters. Um... For someone like me who doesn't have very much power forehand, I'll throw a Firebird just for the stability. But looks like Willie's trying to go with that Challenger OS. I laugh every time I say that out loud because a Challenger OS in my hand just doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a different breed, that's for sure, and uh, you know gives himself another C1, probably bullseye look there. And strange. Oh. I would have expected a, a standstill from Sam here. Something maybe he was trying to lift his hand up higher to try to turn over. Didn't quite get it there, so it went dead straight the whole way. Yeah, look, the timing was off just, just a tad. And this is this is the forehand gap. You want to be just inside that tree. Didn't get quite enough ground action to get back to the basket, but he'll have a putt. Yeah, should be able to straddle around that tree. And then looks like we got a putter out of Carl here. Yeah, challenger, and he shanked it inside. That's got to choke up quick. Oh, no. Oh, man. He is OB. He is within circle two here. It's close enough to be, He's closer than Sam. But we'll have to see if he can save the three here. Sam got it there. A little jump pop from him. A little bit right. And for the three save... No, it was right there. Back-to-back -back holes where we see band hits. Zach with a good birdie there. He missed the last couple holes. I think he thought he should have gotten one of them. It's good to get himself back into form there. Sam, a bit of a tester, really. Well, okay, maybe not. Yeah, let's say uh, <laughs> tester for a person like myself, but... <laughs> He just bangs that in like it's nothing. Willie with, you know, another fantastic drive, just not having to work at all with putting. Absolutely. Uh, I heard that makes the game a lot easier. Yeah, it's, I should try <laughs> that sometime and see what it's like. Carl, the unfortunate OB circle four, but he's really going to have to turn things around here. All right, looking at hole eight, it's going 192 feet. Uh, you just go down the fairway, and it's a little bit off to the right, dog leg. Uh, simple lefty hyzer, and then um, I honestly was jealous of the righties that were able to throw a putter backhand, you know, on a Annie. Um, something that will kind of stable up at the end and, you know, give yourself a circle one putt.
Yeah, this is honestly, if I had to make a prediction, I would have guessed this is the easiest hole in the course. It actually isn't. It's the third easiest. And oh no, Willie. Right at the base of the tree. But I mean, hey, that's still a putt. Yeah, we had. Sorry, it took so long to count. 12 birdies in the field. This is looking pretty good. It's got to miss that's that it. tree. Oh, boy. Mm. It's really the only thing in the entire fairway that's in the way is that tree. If you miss it, I mean, as long as it's going to the right, you, you're going to get a putt at it. I won't lie. When I saw him do that from where I was standing, I thought he was going to try to go to the right through the trees. <laughs> and he freaked me out. And as soon as he released, I was like, okay, this, this makes sense. This uh -oh. looks good. Good oh. height. That is a good flare right there. I believe that's a predator stamp, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Yeah, that's one of his predators, yep. All right, Carl really needs this. He's going to go with the backhand, like you said. He's going to throw really high here. Oh, come on, keep panning. You know, and that was really good height, too. Just didn't quite have enough ante to get all the way to the basket there, but a couple good runs. This feels like a must get for these open players here. This is a hole you really can't afford to lose unless you're hitting the harder holes like five and yeah, get catch the bony bonus birdie. Yeah, and Zach missing his and Willie. Ooh, ooh, it's hiding around. Yeah, good bid, but just a little deep. Still a tester here coming back down the hill. And that's no problem, right in the heart. He's got that raptor in his hand. I thought for sure he was Gonna throw that high out of off the tee, but he left it low and hit the base of that tree. Carl with a good birdie there. Would have bounced back. Yeah. Don't let it get more than a hole or two away. That's what's nice about this course. Even though he took, you know, three strokes over par the last two holes, you know, he can erase it in three holes, so right. par for Zach and Willie. Definitely feeling disappointed about that. Trying to make sure they get this hole here, nine. Uh, 217 feet. This one is, I'm going to say, a little more poke and pray, but it's very fair. If As long as your disc goes right into this va this gap that is here, or there's a left gap as well, that's for if you really want to put something on hyzer and attack this pocket, you're going to be fine. You're going to have a birdie look at this. Uh, really, anyone with a forehand can reach this hole. You just got to hit that initial gap. Absolutely, especially with the decline. You know, it's... Uh... Find your line, throw it straight, and let it finish. Yeah, just don't Which, throw it too hard. So, oh. oh, no. You got a couple of those. You can see Sam definitely wanted to hit that. Now, the backhand gap, I don't think is really there. You know, people swear by it. I, I just don't see it. Carl also hit early, right next to Sam in the ground there. Willie's going to try to show us that backhand, and asks it to kick right and it does the exact opposite. <laughs> Willie, you can see. Like, yeah, yeah. Not too enthused, but. Not what I told you to do. Zach's going to take the wide gap here. So this is the wider if you're ever taking this. Put something on big hyzer, up and high. This is looking good. Yes, yeah, so far so subtle. Yeah. Now that OB, because of that hill, like you mentioned, definitely comes into play. Uh, and Hobie kind of turned his camera in that direction for a hot second, so Zach thought for sure he went OB, and he was not happy about that. Walked and when he got over the hill, saw where he was. He was very relieved. Yeah, after early tree kick, going OB after, you know, it's a possibly two strokes on uh, a lot of these open players. For sure. Carl giving that probably a half bid, because if you get really too aggressive, you're just going to sail the OB. Sam also, I think he, you know... Put it on that ante line, but it's a it's a hard thing to commit to because you, you like I said, if you miss the basket, you're gone. I mean, heck, it's still a possibility even if you're uh, even if you do hit the basket, you know, right. easy to catch an edge. Nice really? putt. Yeah, great circle two putt from him. So he catches a little left there, Zach pures it right in the center of the heart. No aces yet today. I feel like I'm like the reverse of Jeremy Colling, right? He witnesses all the aces, and I can't catch one. But we still have nine more holes after this one, and they're all pretty reachable except for one, really. And uh, we'll see if we can catch our first ace for the channel here at J.C. Parkus. Sam taps in his par. Does so nice. We'll take a look at our scores here. Looks like Willie setting the pace. That next six, which is a pretty good, pretty good front nine.
Uh, definitely left some holes out there, like hole eight. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, let's, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of the card. Uh, you know, people are making some big putts. A little bit of misfortune uh, there for Carl, but you know, he's uh, he's a fighter. I got the uh, opportunity to play with him a couple weeks ago, and yeah, let's say definitely impressed with his uh, boys. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. We'll see you guys in the back nine there, and see you then. Good thing.